Hey everyone, my name is Alex Pavlock and I am a systems engineer with Fortinet. And today's video, we are going to be going over how to connect access points up to 40 LAN cloud. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here. So the first thing, uh, that we need to do here is, uh, so you're going to go to support.fortinet.com and you are going to log into your 40 care account. Uh, this does require uh, licensing for 40 land cloud. So if you have 40 APs, you do need a 40 land cloud management license for every single access point that you want to manage via the cloud. Uh, so once you get your licensing um, and you claim that into your 40 care account, you can log into the 40 land cloud. If you just go under the services here, you'll see 40 land cloud. So just go ahead and click on that. That's going to open up this tab here. Uh, and then we need to claim the uh, cloud key for the access point. Um, you can get that pretty easily from uh, physically looking at the access point. Um, depending on what model you have, the sticker might be just right on the top of the AP. It might be on the bottom side of it. But you'll see a bunch of serial numbers uh, with some codes. One of them will say um, the 40 LAN cloud key. Uh, so you want to go ahead and grab that key. And then we do need to claim that into our inventory. So let's start out from scratch here. So if we come over here to devices, uh, this is going to load up our inventory. Um, we just need to give this a second to load. Once this loads up, um, we're going to do the add APs option here. And this is where this is asking for that key. So go ahead, enter in that key here. And you can see this was added to inventory. Let's go ahead and let this load again. So you can see this has added our AP here. And then once we have added this to the inventory, we're going to go ahead and deploy this AP. And we need to assign it to a network in here. My uh, network is pretty basic in 40 land cloud right now. Um, I just have this one uh, network that I've created. So every all my devices are going to be in, in this one network. So there's only this one option here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And we are doing the 40 land cloud as well. So just go ahead and click deploy. And now you can see we've deployed this out to that network. Going to come back over to the dashboard here. And you can see that we have one access point now uh, in our inventory here. And if we come down here under networks, you can see my combined default network. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click in here. I'm going to do some basic configuration for this. I'm going to set up how I want the radios configured, how I want my SSIDs uh, broadcasting, uh, show you how to do that with some tags. So you can basically just do this uh, automatically. Um, so once it comes online, it will automatically get all this stuff and configured how you want it. Uh, once I do these configurations, then I'm going to go ahead and actually plug it into the network and it should come online and then pull down all the configs that we have here. So. Let's go ahead and do this real quickly here. So we come under wireless configuration. First one that I like to do is operation profiles. Um, this is basically uh, how we want our actual radios configured. So there's three radios uh, in this particular model that I have. It's a 433G. 
Uh, we have radio one, uh, which can be 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. We have radio two, which can also be uh, uh, 5 gigahertz or 2.4. And then we have radio three, which is going to be the 6E radio. Uh, we have some basic pre-built out uh, profiles based on what type of access point we're configuring. So Fortinet has basically done some basic like best practice profiles already here for you. So you can select one of these pre-built out profiles or you can totally uh, make one from scratch or you can start off with this one and then customize this however you want. For example, if you wanted uh, both your radios to be five gigahertz and not use 2.4, you can go ahead and uh, configure that there. So um, these are all the different configuration options. So I've already enabled my uh, 433G platform profile. So that is done there for me. The next one that I'm going to do here is the SSID configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and add an SSID. I'm going to just call this uh, test123. Uh, let's see. And then we have all these other different configuration options for your SSID. For uh, this video sake, I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible. So just a regular uh, pre-shared key SSID. We're going to make this a very basic password. No captive portal. We are going to bridge to the network. Uh, we're not going to tag this SSID with any VLAN, and that should be okay. Um, if you have uh, some U-series APs, um, you can do some of these uh, security profiles on here. Uh, I currently do not have a U-series AP, so I'm not going to use any of these security uh, features on here. But you can see that the APs do have the capabilities of enabling security profiles directly on the access point, uh, thus blocking traffic at the AP level instead of needing to block it on your firewall, which will just one use case, you know, save your network a lot of bandwidth. If that traffic is going to be blocked at the firewall level eventually, um, why not just block it at the AP and save all that bandwidth on your LAN? So um, these are uh, some pretty good features here, but we're going to skip that for now. Um, the availability here. Uh, so uh, this is set to available to all access points. Um, you could also configure this with tags and then uh, assign tags to specific APs. So you can um, make this SSID, assign it to this testing tag, and then go over to your device management. Um, I believe it's under device management, but apply that tag and then this access point will broadcast this SSID. To just keep this as simple as possible, we're gonna do available to all APs and it is always being broadcast. You could also do this on a schedule if you would like. And then this is basically just looking over the configurations of this and we are going to go ahead and apply this. So once this access point comes online, pulls down configurations, we should start seeing the test one, two, three uh, SSID being broadcast. Um, I am going to go head over to my switch, plug in this access point, and it should uh, come online within a couple minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this recording. Uh, I'm going to get this access point online, and I will come back um, once that is once that is done. And we're back here. Um, only took about 90 seconds or so. Uh, once the AP powered on, um, hooked right up to 40 Lang Cloud. Uh, if we come under the access points and status view, uh, we can see the status is online here. Um, we are we have a local IP here, uh, so we have some basic uh, information from this access point. Um, if you click on it, we can get some more uh, details here uh, for the access point. Um, so you get some some basic uh, information you can see here. Uh, no clients connected yet. Um, if I click on my available uh, SSIDs here, um, you can see test one, two, three is being broadcasted here. So 
Um, looks all good. Uh, set up super, super easy. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. You can throw them uh, in the comment section and I am more than happy to help you guys. Uh, have a good one, y'all.